this stunning plant in front of me here in the garden is gentian. It's gentiana lutea, uh, which is yellow gentian. It's one of the European uh, gentians that we grow here. And um, um, it's only mid-May at the moment, so it's only early on in its growth for the season. It's going to get another maybe foot taller and produce these beautiful yellow whirls of flowers. And gentian would probably need to be about over three years old before it may produce flowers. Um, and this gentian is probably four or five years old, I'd say, this patch of gentian here. Um, and it's the root that we use. And we would usually wait till the plant was about seven or eight years old to dig up the gentian roots. Um, so these guys are going to be here for another few years before we possibly dig them up for herbal medicine. And as you can see, it's only the start of May. Things are quite young. This is um, these uh, black cohashes here behind me are still quite small. They're going to sprout up. So it's very early on in the season here in Ireland. Um, but they're doing really good. There was some frost here the other day um, and they got a little bit frostbitten, some of them, but they're, they're going to recover fine. Um, as I said, they're stunning plants. Um, there's lots of gentians all over the world, probably up to 200 species of gentiana um, and a number of European ones. We grow gentiana lutea here, this one, the yellow gentian, and we also grow gentiana tibetica. Um, but they're used across the world for herbal medicine. Um, in uh, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, Xinjiang is Gentiana macrophylla, which is the one that they would use over there in China. And it is used for, it's a bitter and it's quite cold and it's used for clearing heat and for what's called wind dampness. So um, you could use uh, Xinjiang for things like um, pains and stiffness in the body and for clearing that dampness out of the body. And it's quite similar uses here um, that we would use it for, it's the bitter uses. It's traditionally used as a bitter across the world. So you may have heard of Stockton bitters or Angostura bitters, which is a traditional uh, drink that was made in different countries. And gentian would have been one of the um, ingredients in that. And it's because of those bitter principles. So it has all these bitter compounds in the root and they're actually known as the most bitter compounds in the world. So that's incredible. Um, and that's what it's mostly uh, known for. And in herbal medicine, in Western herbal medicine here in Ireland, what we use this gentian for is as a bitter tonic. And that's a very important word, tonic, because when you have weakness in the digestion or when the digestion is under par, you really need something tonic. And bitters are so important for our digestion. And as practitioners, we know that once you get the digestion working well, everything else falls into place. So whether it's arthritis or whether it's even uh, gynecological disorders, you have to get the digestion um, working properly. And one of the best things for doing that is bitter herbs. So when I give my patients herbs in clinic, they're always like, oh, they're so bitter. And it's really important that they get that bitter taste into them to stimulate their, dig their digestion. So gentian is the most bitter herb that we would have in our dispensary. And what we would mostly use it for are liver conditions as well. So things like um, uh, even hepatitis, jaundice, um, even just simple things where you need to stimulate the liver to work more um, efficiently. And even constipation, um, sometimes you can use it in very small amounts for things like heartburn. Um, and it is an alternative, so it works on the liver to clear the liver and that's where it's most useful but it's a, also a digestive tonic so it stimulates the appetite so those bitter receptors they work so well in the mouth and you have to taste that bitter taste to get the saliva flowing to get the bile flowing to get the gallbladder the liver the spleen working properly and um, to stimulate that digestion and so things like constipation um, and even lower digestive issues for like gas and bloating we would use gentian with um, really nice, what we call aromatic stomach gut herbs, things like anise or cardamom or fennel. And so when you use bitter herbs like gentian alongside things like that, like your fennels, your anise, um, you get this lovely in turn effect that relieves any gas and bloating and again, assists constipation and actually gets the digestion working properly. So that's mainly what we use it for in herbal medicine. Um, you can actually use it in small amounts for some, uh, stomach issues um, but you would not use it in cases where you would have um, a lot of gastritis like overly amount of a gastritis you wouldn't use large amounts of it it's only really used in small amounts gentian so tiny amounts you need um, and that is really really effective and as I said it's um, strengthening so that's why it's a tonic it strengthens the whole digestion and um, makes it work more efficiently so that's one of the main things we use for um, there are lots of other types of gentians as I said and the one plant that you may almost mistake it for this is very important is a plant called Veritrum album 
So it's another plant we grow and its common name is uh, European hellebore or white hellebore. That's a homeopathic plant that we grow. Um, and veratrum, um, the leaves are very similar. So before gentiana flowers, and before veratrum flowers, um, the leaves look quite similar, but the flowers are completely different. And it's a homeopathic plant that we grow and it is poisonous. So you do not want to mistake it for um, veratrum album. That'd be the one thing. So as I said, these plants are about four or five years old um, and they're very hardy. So they grow really well here in Ireland. They actually do prefer quite drier soils. They have a really big deep tap root that could be like a foot long when you dig them up, quite thick and it's kind of yellow on the inside actually. And even if you tasted a leaf actually, you taste that really strong bitter compounds. You taste them immediately. And what we normally do is we would grow gentian from seed. You can actually divide up the crowns, but we don't do that. We actually normally grow it from seed. And as I said, we're going to harvest from these plants probably in another two or three years. Um, and I was weeding a bed over there the other day and I found a whole patch of gentianas that I'd forgotten about. Um, so that sometimes happens. They were just covered in grass, but they're doing well. I've cleared them up now and they are gentiana tibeticas. So that's another one that we grow here. Um, but it's a wonderful plant. Gentiana is a plant that I would not be without in my dispensary. As I said, we use small amounts of it to stimulate the digestion and strengthen the whole digestion. Um, so it's an amazing um, plant for that. Um, and there's loads of different uses. Herbalists use it in different ways, but that's just some of the ways that we use gentiana here. And it's just lovely to see it growing so well here in the garden. And when it's given the right space, it grows quite well and it's also a stunning, a stunning plant. Um, so that's just a little bit about uh, Gentiana lutea, yellow gentian from the garden. <laughs>